Welcome to Kicks Wave Process Inspection or WPI Training Part 1. This video provides an overview of the WPI system for your wave solder machine and process. This video will show you a technical and process overview of the wave process inspection system, an overview of the WPI hardware, an overview of the WPI software, and an explanation of some of the key features of the WPI system. After completing this video, you should be able to understand and explain the basics of how the WPI system works and how it benefits the user, understand and explain the basics of how the WPI system hardware works, and understand and explain the basics of how the WPI system software works. The WPI is an embedded process monitoring system that calculates full virtual profile across preheat and wave portions of the wave solder process by using embedded thermocouples in the preheat and solder pot. After a baseline profile is run, the WPI system can measure process parameters for each product in the solder pot area using a parameter. As part of the advanced software solutions, the WPI uses the PWI process valuation and provides for all common wave process specs, including dwell time. The WPI system can calculate dwell time and parallelism in the solder pot for each production board or product by using the hardware and advanced software shown in this video introduction. The WPI system also offers automatic SPC charting as well as traceability and process control. The WPI system will calculate a virtual profile for every production board in the wave solder process. The WPI hardware consists of seven major components. The ETPU control unit, the conveyor speed sensor, the kick probes, the solder pot thermocouple, the pyrometer, the interface to the controller PC, the alarm relay and light tower. The ETPU is the primary device through all other subsystems are routed and thermal production related data is collected. Its configuration is versatile in that it can be modified or expanded to meet the changing needs of the customer. Primarily designed to facilitate the incoming temperature data measured at the stationary 30 thermocouples inside the conveyorized thermal process environment, it is also used to track products throughout the thermal process and continuously monitor conveyor speed. The WPI system uses a conveyor speed encoder to measure a relative conveyor speed and uses changes in that speed to more accurately predict process and virtual profile values. The flashing lights with arrows pointing to them, shown here, indicate kick probes mounted in the preheat section of the wave solder machine. By analyzing the kick probes reading together with the baseline profile data, a mathematical model is created from which we base our virtual profile calculations. In addition to monitoring temperatures in the preheat area, the WPI system hardware also uses a thermocouple in the solder pot. The WPI system continuously measures the solder pot temperature to ensure proper operating temperatures and indirectly solder pot levels. After the production board passes the solder wave area, the WPI also uses a pyrometer to measure the top side of the profile and production boards to measure and calculate the product dwell and peak in the wave solder portion of the wave solder's process. The WPI system interfaces with the WPI software running on a PC. The WPI controller PC can be the same PC used to operate the wave solder machine itself or can be a separate standalone PC.
The Alarm Relay is a module that interfaces with the ETPU and allows the WPI system to control the SMEMA or other machine interfaces. The light tower is a USB device and connects to a USB port on the kit controller PC. The light tower has red, yellow, and green lights. The light tower is programmable and will change states as programmed and controlled by the WPI software during production. The WPI software consists of the following major components. The WPI main screen, the process window, automatic or virtual profiling, the chart tab, and the troubleshooting tab. The main WPI screen is very much like other kick software. The main screen has six buttons. The buttons on the left are for setup and status. The buttons on the right are for running and viewing profiles and exiting the software. Placing the mouse pointer over each button will display a description for each button. The WPI software allows for the process window to be configured to the specific needs of the wave solder process with unique wave solder process specifications and calculations. The edit spec screen allows you to edit or choose statistics and limits for a chosen flux or to find your own. The flux menu is a read only library list of fluxes along with the statistics and limits suggested by the flux manufacturer also included is a user defined option in the list, which allows you to create a spec of your own. The read only text box shows you the flux name, statistic name, and limits for a process window chosen, edited, or saved by you. The top half displays the specs chosen for the preheat side of the process and the bottom half for the wave side of the process. Automatic profiling or virtual profiling is a means of reliably predicting the thermal profile of every board in a production run based on a comparison of real time temperature and conveyor speed data against a baseline profile established by an earlier profile run through the machine. For a given product, the baseline needs to represent an optimum machine recipe with a good PWI value and a quality soldering result. During inspection mode of virtual profiling, the software displays each board's profile chart and a table of data based on its process window. Other screens show PWI and SPC control charts. When machine data varies significantly from the baseline profile, WPI displays appropriate warnings to system operators. The chart tab will display a control chart for the overall profile PWI and statistics as defined in the process window setup. The software will update the overall PWI for each chart and calculate the CPK and display the results above each chart. The troubleshooting tab will display the deviation of the various WPI sensors on bar charts. The deviation data is measured against the baseline profile. This data is updated for every board or every 25 seconds. Now that you have a basic understanding of what WPI does and how it works, let us review some of the key capabilities of the WPI. As presented previously, the system embedded sensors across your wave machine will enable automatic measurement, recording and displaying of a wide range of process related details, such as calculating a full virtual profile across the preheat and wave portion of the process. Automatic calculation of a PCB temperature profile through the preheat and the wave. The WPI uses the combination of the embedded temperature sensor readings with the monitoring of the solder pot and conveyor speed to display a temperature profile for every board produced, eliminating the need for a periodic verification profile. Dwell time and parallelism for each board. The contact time with the wave 
and parallelism is calculated and displayed for each production board, alongside with the plot of the temperature graph. The state-of-the-art sensors used in the WPI system grant this key capability in making it the industry first, monitoring such an important part of the wave process. A PWI for all process specs, including dwell time. The overall process window index that many of our customers are used to seeing as a quality indicator of the thermal process can also be found in this system, dwell time included. This allows to reduce the profile fit to the process window in a mathematical and objective manner, since with a single value, they will be able to identify out-of-spec situations. Any out-of-spec situation will immediately trigger an alarm that can shut down the in-feed conveyor and avoid boards of being produced in such conditions. Automatic SPC charting. Automated real-time SPC and CPK charting that will help identify trends before the potential defects happen. Process data is automatically charted for all critical parameters of your process window and the process results for each PCB are automatically plotted on SPC charts. As well, process capability is automatically calculated and saved for each specification. This allows to prompt warnings and alarms if trends in production indicate process drifts. Traceability and process control. Full process control by confirming the proper setup for a selected product before it enters the machine and full traceability since all process data, such as temperature and dwell times, and its fit to the available process window is automatically recorded and stored for every product. All this information can be retrieved at any point in the future and linked to the product's barcode name. Real-time analysis. The troubleshooting tab mentioned before and part of all our automatic systems allows for intuitive troubleshooting showing deviations in your process, helping you identify where the process changes are occurring and narrowing it down to a specific part of the process. This will allow for a much faster intervention on process level and it will reduce drastic downtime for process related causes. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like more information on our products or have any questions, please go to our website, kickthermal.com. Thank you, and we appreciate your business.